Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to talk about in this video is Plex Pass. What is Plex Pass? Uh, a lot of people ask that and they want to know do they need Plex Pass in order to use Plex? The answer to the question do I need Plex Pass in order to use Plex is no. Plex has a lot of features that are just built right in like the web shows and other things like the news feeds and podcasts. They've even got free movies on Plex now. Where Plex Pass comes in is a lot of features that you can't get without paying for them. One of the big ones is that there is a live TV and DVR for Plex that you can only get if you're a Plex Pass member. If you take a look at this guide, this is something that is free. It sets up almost automatically. It takes a couple of minutes. We've done a video on that. But in order to get this and integrate it into any setup that you're using, whether it's a Roku or a Fire TV or over your computer or using it on a phone, you have to have PlexPass. Just to give you a little bit of an idea of what this is like, you can get a 24-hour guide, see what's coming on. If you have everything set up correctly, you can go in and tell it to record the episode. You can also get recommendations, and under recommendations, it shows you what's on right now, what's starting next, as well as things like stuff you might want to check out later. This is great. This will show you what's coming on, where they're playing, what's going on. You see that we're in the middle of the playoffs in this video right here. And there's even guides for specific things. So this is a pretty powerful little DVR and live TV setup. And we just wanted to show you what that looks like. Something else that Plex Pass users can do that non Plex Pass users can do is adding to their music experience. So we're going to jump in. Not every single artist works this way, but there are artists that put their music together in a way where you can look at their lyrics. And for the sake of how quick she gets to her lyrics, I'm going to go into this Lady Gaga song and you'll see what's going to happen. We're going to start it and you look at your menu and you've got all the normal music playback buttons, including pause and stop. But here you see the little music note. And what that is, is it's the lyrics. So as the song actually starts and she starts to sing, you're going to see the lyrics start lighting up and that's where we are in the song and so you can kind of keep up with it you can learn the words to a song that goes fast get the timing down a little bit if you want to go you know show off the karaoke you can get an idea of what's happening there with the lyrics there are a number of other examples of things that you can do with plex pass some of them are more server-based, things like being able to jump in and see who's watching what on your own Plex server. You're able to set up parental guidance on it, set up extra users, and a lot of other things. We're going to give you a link to a description of those sorts of things in the description of the video. But Plex Pass while it's not necessary, really can add to the experience. Something else cool that you can do is your movies can play previews you know, of the, like the trailer. So if you're watching something like Ghostbusters and you want to see what was the trailer for Ghostbusters like, you go in, you can select it, you can check it out. But there are lots of other features, things to do with photos and things like that. And we're going to, like I said, provide a link so that you can take a look at that but for $19.99 a month $39.99 a year or even $149 lifetime that's what you get 
And the really cool thing that I like about it is when you see new apps come out. Lots of times new updates will come out, new features will come out that other people can't get. Way back in the old days, when new apps came out on all the platforms, PlexPass users were the first to see it. And that was really cool. You got to see new updates, and I have a feeling that will continue over time. So, that's a little about PlexPass. If you want to learn more, check out the link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was educational. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.